I've had so many challenges. I started as a pen tester. I've always said that. I worked as a pen tester for about two years plus. And when I left that role, I joined another company, but as a cloud security engineer. We were having daily stand-up. We we're gonna have stand-up 9 a.m. and we have stand-up 3 p.m. I was almost depressed. <laughs> I kid you not. It was tough. Now, what did I do? Now this is about you. If you've gone through any bump on the road, you have any challenge that you've gone through on your cyber security journey or in your pursuit to becoming a cyber security person or even in your business, those challenges, how you know you navigate them and what are the lessons you learn from it. So let me speak on mine. I've had so many challenges, like every one of us, I've had so many challenges. Now, in terms of cyber security, I'm going to speak only about one. I started as a pen tester. I've always said that. And that is a highly, highly technical role in cyber security. I worked as a pen tester for about two years plus. And when I left that role, I joined another company, but as a cloud security engineer. Don't forget, pen testing is you know different. For those of you who don't understand what a pen tester is, a pen tester is someone who comes to your company and simulate an attack like the bad guys. They want to know where you're weak and how you can protect yourself. That was what I was doing. I did that for about two to three years. Now I started another job as a cloud security engineer because this is a new role entirely. You know, from pen testing, you were, we were breaking things. You know, we had freedom to break things. We're not staying in the office. You can go on site. So when I mean on site, you go to the office of the people. Let's say I want to pen test a bank, I can go to their branch or I can go to, if it's just one man bank, like one branch bank, I can go to that branch and if it's company, I can go to that office, you know, do my job for five days, give my report and all that. But when I got a job as a cloud security engineer, I got a job in a startup company. Again, I'm very blessed and I'm so happy and I thank God that I got that job at that startup company. Company wide were less than 220 something you know, employees. We we're having daily stand-up. We we're gonna have stand-up 9 a.m. and we have stand-up 3 p.m. Listen to me, this is someone who was a pen tester, coming from a pen testing background that you're on your own, you you go out, you, you do your pen test or you can even do it anywhere. You know, you go to the on-site, then you come to your office and you give report and all that. Now I'm coming to a job where you need to do daily stand-up, all right? 9 a.m. in the morning, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. 9 a.m., you will talk about what you did yesterday after the 3 p.m. meeting, what you will do today. And 3 p.m., you will talk about what you did from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you will talk about what you will do after 3 p.m. Can you imagine that? That's number one. Number two, because I was coming from a pen testing background, I didn't really have technical knowledge of cloud security my pen testing experience was not even cloud it was on prem prem is basically you have all your data cent you have your data center you know not in the cloud is maybe you have your data center somewhere and you're managing it yourself but cloud now is like aws azure gcp and all that that is where you host your infrastructure now imagine someone coming from that pen testing background with on prem coming to a cloud security Number one, you don't even know about cloud. Number two, now you want to secure something you do not really know about. Can you imagine that? That is where I found myself. For three weeks, I was almost depressed. <laughs> I kid you not, it was tough. Now, what did I do? You see, this is why it's very good for you to have a mentor. Whatever you do, don't do it alone. You know, Bible says something that one will chase 1,000 and two will chase 10,000. We always believe that is in the case of marriage. Sometimes it is not only for married people. Even if you're doing something, you have a job or you have a business, sometimes it is good for you to have someone that knows either better than you or that can help you. I was reaching out to my mentor every day for three weeks, every day. So I would board the train from downtown to my house in, uh, then I was living in, uh, there's, a, there's a city called Midlothian in illinois it's like 20 minutes away from chicago it's still you know part of chicago even less than 20 minutes drive so i'll go by train to the office downtown chicago go by train back so on my way back from work i'm always on the phone with him complaining talking about how i'm gonna quit my job i'm gonna leave and all that and then he will allow me rant then after that then he will tell me are you done when i said yes 
and then he will start telling me what to do how to solve it listen guys that is where i learned how to get tasks from your manager and don't go and ask your manager questions immediately go and make a research about the task that the manager has given to you and then come back and give your manager a report i also learned that as well from my manager as a matter of fact because my mentor also told me how to speak up i was able to develop a rapport with my manager that i learned so much from him how did i overcome that particular bump number one speaking to a mentor number two acting diligently on what my mentor told me to do number three i was hard working again no matter what they tell you to do if you're not ready to put in the work it's not gonna work nothing works until you work it's as simple as that i wish i can tell you something sweet something you know like don't worry everything will be okay no it will not be okay if you don't put in the work now when i get home from work i set up aws you know aws has free tier so i set up aws in my house as well so when i get home from work i'm back on my laptop i'm back on my laptop i'm back on my monitor i'm looking at security group i'm looking at vpc i'm looking at uh, ec2 instance i have a sandbox environment where i was hosting instances doing everything i would you know learning terraform everything that you need to know about cloud security i dive deep into everything now what is the outcome of this i've told you what i did now i've given you the situation i've given you you know what i did and everything the outcome i came out on the other side you know stronger better more knowledgeable and more refined as a cloud security engineer okay it was tough trust me it was as a matter of fact you changing jobs or getting another job you're going to face some situations it's 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 normal it's normal it's not just cyber security it's normal everywhere you're going to face it however you must be prepared to seek help and whatever they're giving to you as information be prepared to also work on the information the reason why you're asking them is because they know better than you so when they're giving you information or they're telling you what to do try as much as possible to do it you know when jesus christ went to a wedding in canaan you know where we we believe he performed his first miracle you know what the mother told them to do so whatever he tells you to do do it maybe those guys were obstinate maybe mary knew that these guys were obstinate maybe he knew she knew that they would not always listen to instruction but she told them whatever he tells you to do do it so i'm going to tell you as well whatever your mentor tells you to do you better do it there lies in your help now in business have i gone through bumps oh my goodness several times let me give you guys an example there's a company i started before natmos group you can google it i still have the registration as a matter of a few days ago the website hosting company reached out to me but i didn't pick their call because i was like i'm not wasting money on this anymore natmos group company is a transportation company you know why i went into that <laughs> uh we were before the pandemic well you know cyber security were making money and we're like okay let's make more money i didn't invest in myself to learn more about about transport but they told me that there's money in transport business boom i registered transport i did all that i spent money but you know what i didn't make a dollar i didn't make one dollar that is gone another thing was foreign exchange market do you guys know what they call forex you know okay <laughs> have you lost money there <laughs> you've lost money i can see you're laughing even though i don't see you but i know you're laughing yeah i also lost money too but i got so good with forex that if i lose money i'm losing money strategically then we got so good that we're going to place a trade even though in a demo sometimes in a demo and overnight we'll be making like eighty hundred thousand dollars we're like we're very good at this let's teach people we started you can still find some of the videos on youtube gold capital that is the youtube um, for gold capital that's for our foreign exchange we didn't have students we were very good trust me till now i can still bring up a chat and show you you know the supply the demand the break-even point where the where liquidity is going to come into the market i can tell you everything i'm still very good you know in that process of learning myself and my partner covenant partner we lost neighborhood of close to 200 and something thousand dollars you know and not just to build the training company but even to um learn put the real money in our account learn the trade 
pay people for courses we lost over 200k that's good capital another one tech elite connect tech elite connect is something that we wanted to use to help africans in america or canada or uk wherever you are as long as you're african descent what we wanted to do is we want to bring everybody together under one umbrella and then we're going to be inviting highly placed experts to come speak to us every week that also failed all right i can begin to count so many things that i've done like so many that i've done that failed but in everything i wouldn't say that there's something in me that is very different from everyone that helps me to move on i feel it but i just move on like it is what it is one thing about me is i don't hold too tight to money money is money does not control me i like the game you know the game of working doing business i like it i i enjoy it as a matter of fact some will tell me i'm not supposed to be working right now but i enjoy all this process so i just i just move on it does not matter how much i lose i enjoy the game it's a game to me it's not about the money yes the money is important it's good but that is not the only goal all right so i believe that has been helpful in helping me to move on and continue doing what we're doing what i will now tell you is in everything that i've said you will try so many things and you will fail i'm not i'm not placing a curse on you it's a fact of life you try so many things that has, that will fail if you don't want to fail don't do anything okay like if you don't want to fail trust me don't do anything and you will never write anything in your history as being a failure but if you want to achieve success you'll try so many things that will fail but one that will succeed we pay for all that failed so my advice to you keep failing don't stop fail forward if you whatever you're doing now if you're failing don't stop move on to the next thing you know you need to know when to stop anyway you need to know when to stop you know you need to know when like don't move on anymore stop and then move on to the next thing okay if you're failing now keep failing you will succeed your success is around the corner and trust me it will pay off for everything that you've had in the past as a failure i hope that helps you if you need um, if you have a diverse opinion i welcome diverse opinion write it in the comment section i trust me i'll personally read it and if you also would like to be with my team on a zoom call to ask me questions personally uh put your details on the comment section my team will get in touch with you in the same vein if you have um, a comment on this write it there i want to read and if you have a question write it in the comment section i will read your question when i'm recording and then i'll be able to answer you all right i hope that helps i'll see you again